you for the progress. Congratulate Taylor for her progress. This may not seem like a very large group, but that's why I suggested a few moments ago that consider a foundation meeting, same as the one in London and the one that we hope we're going to have in Peterborough. Look at them as foundation meetings that you're going to build upon. I brought uh, some correspondence and documents with me. And one of them deals with that. Because I tackled a situation in Peterborough that uh, was considered impossible. I got the first base with it, and uh, the first phone call was from a lawyer named Doug Galvin, who called me up and said, I saw you on cable TV last night at City Hall, and uh, you got the first base. But you seem like a nice fellow, and I, I thought I'd save you from a real heartache. And we're trying to get the, the mayor to pay $2.5 million for some property she cut about last year for 800000 And that's just about as impossible as asking her to run naked down George Street. And he said, I'm a lawyer and a former mayor, and uh, me, you can't possibly win. So well, thank you for thinking about me that way, but uh, the word can't is not found in my dictionary. I'm just hanging on a little bit of done for you. Then I developed a strategy towards it, and realizing that it would be a difficult project, I laid out this strategy and uh, began to have some meetings. And the first criticism in the newspaper was, this guy isn't going anywhere. There's only maybe ten people at his meeting. And he went on to say that, Somebody who really wants to achieve something would get on the bus and go up to uh, Ottawa and, uh, and uh, make a point with Wilson. I'm getting my stories mixed up here, I'm sorry. But both those fit. But I did get the one mixed with the other. There's a few occasions where I've done this perceived impossible situation. And I got enough to see Wilson wasn't part of that one. But um, it ended up with that... Uh, group of 10 expanding and growing that we had in the area of 2000. And uh, within two and a half to three months, the city paid back, they bought the property back again for 2.5 million. So what was perceived to be impossible was done, and it can be done, and this is the way it begins. So I would hope that you will look at this as a foundation meeting. I'm really impressed with what Kayla has done. I was at the meeting in Cambridge, and she did a good job there, but I think that uh, she's had some experience, and I think she's got a real good handle on this. And I want to point out to you how important that is, that someone like her would come forward to do this. There are lots of complaints that we all have in our society, but we're we put up with it year after year after year because nobody wants to come forward and lead the band, so to speak. Chris, we're a great example as well. It's pretty hard to find people to do what Kayla's doing and to do what you're doing. You come up from time to do it. And that's the whole point of what I wanted to bring to you today. And that's why I put these documents together showing you things that I have done. Not to promote me, I'm not running for anything. But something that's very important for you, for all of us to realize, people do not follow leaders who aren't winning. People do not get behind a cause that can't possibly win. So it takes a, a rebel leader and someone to come forward and lead the group in that direction. But it must be believable. So that's where I put some of background material that I have experienced myself to indicate to you 
the impossible can be achieved. All it takes is leadership. And uh, that's a real community, unfortunately. Not that there aren't many people capable, but so many people don't want to get involved. So when someone like Taylor takes this burden on, and you really puts her effort into it, she deserves her support. And we should remember this, that if it doesn't go, if the people don't, the landlords don't get behind this movement, uh, until the landlord march, there will never be another tale. And there will never be another, the problem will never be another case. There are not many of you people around. And I know that. I've been here. You don't want more than one of me. Oh, you don't want more than one of me. Oh, I'm not at the same project. <laughs> not at the same project. The leader can't lose control. So you don't want any competition in that field at all. But I take my hat off to Kayla for the job that she is doing and is really making good strides. There's not many people here yet, and yet I think this is a great foundation meeting. Really, a lot more people here than I had at my first meeting on the tackle of the impossible. So I think we're on, a, on an upscale, and uh, the thing to do, though, it must be believable. It must be believable because people will not get behind you if they don't see the progress. So this is where I'd like you to look at this as, as a foundation meeting, and the one in London as well, foundation meetings. Each person then must network and spread out. There are many things you can do, letters to the editors, one of them we all know about. Another thing that the associations might consider is using this as a means of recruiting because there are many people who are not members of the association. And when they see what's going on, and what, once we alert them to the burdens that they're going to face and the problems they're going to have with their own properties, maybe they'll join the association to get beyond, behind you and help us all working in the same direction. So there's a thought you could consider putting an ad in the paper, letting, people, letting other landlords know about your meetings and how they are needed and how it's to their benefit to be a member of your association. Uh, we have great meetings in Peterborough and we invite guest speakers from time to time and it's it's uh, very informative and very valuable. And I'm sure that you're do, doing the same because I learned a few things tonight in, hear, in hearing your comments. So the main thing I want to tell you is that the uh, I'd like to read to you a uh, a note that I put together for Patricia to send out to our our people to get them out. And uh, I want to point out in this note that what Taylor is doing is so important because there are not many Taylors standing around ready to fill the, the gap if, if it doesn't go. So I just have to read this to you. And that, uh, that's about all the time I'll take for you. There's a special notice to all Peterborough landlords. It's important and important. Words can explain how vitally important it is that every member of the Peterborough Landlords Association attend this Saturday evening's Landlord Watch Foundation meeting in Oshawa, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m to protest municipalities charging landlords for a tenant utility cost arrears. As difficult as it is, I will try to convey the level of importance of this foundation meeting to all concerned based on my past experience with such government wrong-headed decisions. For all of our Canada is one of the best countries in the world, we have some of the world's finest police officers, and yet there are problems, as indicated in the headlines of the Toronto Star today. There are many different problems in any society that affect different people in a multitude of different ways that seem to go on forever as if no one cares. The reason they go on forever is that it is rare occasion when one individual citizen 
has the courage and determination to assume a leadership role of organizing damaged citizens to protest against misguided government wrongdoing by elected representatives who often do not know what they don't know. American Aaron Rockridge was that rare sort of individual who tackled the big corporations about serious health issues affecting many in her community. Knowing that individual's complaints go unheard, Kayla Andre of Cambridge, Ontario, has taken on the role of rallying concerned landlords to stand up for their rights against such blatant intervention in the private sector. And I'll deal with that in a moment, too. By municipalities holding landlords responsible for the death of their careers, over which landlords do not have any control. There are many things wrong with the mindset of the Tenant Protection Act that needs correction down the road. But the straw that breaks the camera's back, as Chris has said, is the newest, I lost the line here, uh, <laughs> is the latest injustice that Kayla is fighting against for the benefit of all landlords. The success of her efforts on our behalf relies on the news reports of the number of landlords who rallied to support her foundation meetings and signed the petition. People do not follow leaders who are not winning, and if we are, as landlords, do not give her our full support and her campaign fails, rest assured there will never be another opportunity for landlords to be granted rights of other citizens as there will never be another KLF and drive. So, every Peterborough landlord should do their utmost to attend the 6 p.m. Oshawa meeting at the Canadian Legion. This will be followed by a foundation meeting in London and hopefully a Peterborough and Lindsay meeting thereafter. This Saturday afternoon, a group of us are meeting in for dinner at uh, Freddy's. And it's extremely important matter for all concerned to consider canceling any other plans for this Saturday evening and come out to the most important occasion. That was a last moment uh, note that I put together to round up uh, as many people as possible to come down from Peterborough and uh, our great uh, Secretary Treasurer Patricia got it out in time. And I'm sad to say that there aren't more people here, but it will go when the people here from Peterborough go back and, and talk to the other members of our association and tell them what's going on here. I'm sure we'll get more support, and that's what I would encourage all of you to do. And if there are any presidents of one of association here, I'd enjoy an opportunity to talk to them. And I'd certainly like to come out to this meeting that you're going to have. And uh, I just refer to some of the few other pages that I put together here to show you my background, because I want you to realize that it is believable. These things can be done. And uh, I have the background to support it and recognize it. You're on the right track. Let's have a big hand for Kayla. Thank you any more of your time. Thank you for listening.